Welcome to our meditation time together today. I would invite you just to get comfortable in whatever spot you have landed in today, whether you are seated or lying down, you make yourself physically comfortable. And then as you become comfortable, just commit over these minutes that if the body gives you a signal that it needs to adjust and it needs to move, that you respond and you allow yourself to adjust. You allow yourself to move as you need to. We have enough potential distractions in our mind. So let's not let the body be another distraction. Just commit to pay attention to what you need. And as you allow your eyes to close or maybe just bring them down toward the ground so that some of your distractions are gone, I would invite you to begin to just notice your breath. Notice your breath on this day in the moments leading up to this moment, this week, all the things that have brought us here together, here and now. Notice the breath and how it arrived with you. Sometimes we are so busy up until the point that we stop and we sit. And for others, we've already begun the process of slowing down as we enter this time. So whatever breath you've shown up with, just notice it. Just pay attention. Get a sense of how you are today. And then we'll begin to breathe together in just a moment. But I want to frame our time together today and in the next several days to come. We're going to be sitting with the concept called the Pancha Mahabhutas, the five elements. I've been sitting and studying them a little bit extra myself lately, and I thought this is something that could really cultivate our awareness. And so I hope that my sitting and my being aware of them can provide a little insight or a little inspiration as you sit and practice being aware yourself. But first, let's breathe together to just really find our way into this collective moment, this eternal, timeless, present moment. So just take a slow, deep breath in and a full breath out. And a slow breath in. And exhale, let it go. And breathing in. And breathing out. And now notice. Notice with just a few intentional breaths how things have begun to shift just a little bit. And then find a rhythm of breath that really honors what you need right now. And so I want to use the five elements, these things that are within us and around us, that are part of this universe, that are part of our fiber of our being. I want to use them as a tool today and in the next several days to come as a tool to really cultivate our awareness. Because we know that meditation is not a time that we come and we just relax and then we kind of doze off. But it's also not time that we come and we show up and we fight with our mind and we get frustrated about the thoughts that keep interrupting. But rather, it is a time to practice cultivating awareness until someday we become acutely aware of this moment, fully present, fully awake. And then that moment passes and we are acutely aware in the next, fully present, fully awake. It doesn't mean that thoughts don't come. It doesn't mean that we don't have distractions, but it means that we are practicing at being aware. And so let's just kind of go through these elements and notice where they are within us and around us. 
and see how they can help us practice our being aware. And as we go through this practice together, I would remind you or maybe tell you for the first time if it's new to you, this idea of being mindful. John Kabat-Zinn tells us that it's paying attention in the present moment on purpose, but without judgment. And so you'll be aware of some things, you'll notice, but also notice if you judge, if you feel like what you're noticing is wrong or not what you intended. This is not about changing, this is just about noticing. And so the five elements, this first element, pritvi, is the element of earth. And so I would invite us each just to notice where the parts of our body are touching the earth. For some of you, it's your seat. Some of you, you're lying down on your back. Some of you may have paused and just are standing where you are and it's your feet. But notice those spots physically where you have a connection to the element of earth, the solidness of it, the heaviness of it, the stability of it. Just notice. And then there is the element of jala, water. Maybe you're sitting in a spot where you can hear water. There's a fountain or there's water moving and you hear it. But for most of us, notice the sensations in your mouth. Notice as you swallow. Notice the moisture in your mouth. Feel it. Pay attention to it. Notice it. Tejas, the element of fire. If we were sitting outside and the sun was beginning to come up, you might feel the warm sunlight on the surface of your face or on your body. But right here as you sit in this moment, feel the spots within you where it's warm. Maybe right around your belly if you just recently eaten, maybe you can kind of feel a little movement, some digestion happening, feel the warmth. Maybe you touch your hands together or you let them rest on your legs and there's warmth at your touch. Just notice it. Be aware of it. Vayu, the element of air. Again, if you're sitting outside, you'll might, you might notice the wind blowing through your hair across your face. But for most of us, as we're inside, I would let you, or I would ask you just to notice where's the air moving in your space? Is there a ceiling fan that's moving? Can you feel it? Is the air conditioning on? Can you feel it in the air around you? How about in your breath? As that inhale tickles the tip of your nose. Just notice, pay attention, value the element of air. Akasha, space. That fifth element, it feels so far away at times. But as you were sitting there with your eyes closed or looking down, imagine in your mind's eye, see the stars, see the moon, see the galaxies, see them close up, like they're not so far away. Notice them, be aware of them. And then I would invite
invite you. While it may sound a little different, notice what you noticed. There might have been things that you began to notice because your mind heard a sound or paid attention to something outside the room or you had a thought or a reminder or some chatter in your head. So for the next few breaths, notice what you noticed. And as you continue to breathe, I want to take us through a gratitude practice for these five elements. I did this myself the other day and I just sat in amazement as I thought about each one and didn't see them as this abstract thing that I learned about in science class, but rather I began to understand on a really intimate level that they exist within me. There are parts of each element inside of us. They help to define our personalities, how we emotionally respond to things. They inform the littlest things like how we process things like our food our interactions with people, our stressors. But the most beautiful thing about these five elements is that they remind us that we are part of this big universe. As much as air and space and earth and water and fire exist out there, because they also exist within us, it means we are part of this amazing universe. Each one of us. Sometimes one of these elements feels really powerful. We can feel its presence. Sometimes they feel really unbalanced. Our fire feels too much. Our air feels not enough. And throughout these days, as we sit with these concepts, we're gonna to work toward balance. Balance that brings health, physically and mentally and emotionally. Balance that brings vibrancy to our life. And then all of a sudden you realize it's not just these concepts we talk about in science, but it's the story of us. So as we continue to sit, you just breathe slow, deep, steady breaths. And just notice as I bring each one to the surface with a sense of gratitude, notice what you notice. Just be aware. Breathing in. Grateful for Prithvi, the element of earth the element that helps me feel grounded and stable and rooted. The element that produces trees and flowers, that gives structure to the things around us and within us. Be grateful for the earth Jala, gratitude for the element of water. It represents movement and flow. The water that creates the vast majority of us is the same water that flows from the top of the mountain through the rivers, gathering in the lakes and the ponds and the oceans. It's the water that refreshes us, keeps us alive, hydrated and healthy. Be grateful for water.
Tejas, fire. Without seeing or noticing the destructive nature that sometimes fire is associated with. Notice fire as the element of purification. It's what digests our food and allows us to pull the nutrients out and get rid of the rest. It's the thing that associates our energy levels to whatever it is that we need to do in life. The fire, the vitality, the vigor. It comes from the sun and it allows us to go through life and do good things. Be grateful for Tejas, for the element of fire. Vayu, air. We've all had days when we were hot and parched and we feel that cool breeze come across our face and we are so very grateful. Air, it reminds us of the lightness of our being. It's what moves those clouds gently across the sky. It's what catches the bird's wing and helps him soar. Vayu, it's also the air that moves within us, not the oxygen, not the gases, but the vitality of prana moving in and around and through us. And just like the fire, allowing us to contribute to this world in our own special way. Akasha, space. Be grateful for even the parts that we don't understand exactly. Be grateful that we are part of it. The stars, the moon, the beautiful sensation that holds it all together is the same space that holds us together. I like to think of space as this beautiful web connecting us across this globe, across this vastness of this universe that we can't even imagine and that connects us right here in this moment. Be grateful for space, for the cosmos. And as you continue to breathe, we're going to just sit for a moment. And notice across those five elements, if there's one that just kind of keeps coming to the attention of your mind, or notice if you just sit and nothing really comes up. One answer is not right or wrong or better. It's just a matter of being aware. So continuing to breathe slow, deep breaths of gratitude for these five elements within us, and among us and the role that they play in every part of our being. Pancha Mahabhuta, 
the five elements, the building blocks of this life. I encourage each of us just to notice in the coming days the different evidence that you see of each of these. Feeling their presence within you, noticing their presence around you. And then my hope is that over this time that we sit with these concepts, It'll be one more link that shows us how connected we really all are. It doesn't matter the color of our skin, the language that we speak, the geography of where we live, the belief system that we hold to. These five elements exist in all of us. They exist around all of us. Be grateful first and foremost for the role they play in your life. And as we explore these concepts, maybe we'll find some gratitude for the role that they play in everyone else as well. Namaste.